Now I'm going to just address real quickly, uh, Ian, you mentioned the Eagles. They will do something at the running back position. Uh, I had mentioned on a Philly radio station the other day, uh, Tevin uh, Coleman being a, a possibility for the Eagles. That'll be a guy on their radar. He's going to come in about half the money as Le'Veon Bell. And we're hearing that that might be too pricey for the Eagles for Coleman yeah. at seven and a half million dollars or so. So for them to pay now double for Le'Veon Bell, and I understand that he's a better overall player, uh, that doesn't seem very likely. So I, I think the Eagles are in, you said, at the right price. But I think that price has got to come down from where everybody truly expects it to be. What's going on, everybody? Joseph the most. Philly Jim coming at you another video. So you guys just saw the clip from um, NFL Network. The guy, uh, Mike Garofalo, him and his Italian last name were on like some radio show in Philly uh, earlier in the week talking about, you know, what the Eagles are going to do. You know, they're expected to go after running back. They're expected to, uh, expected to pursue uh, Tevin Coleman which I think wouldn't be a, a bad move. I don't think, personally, I don't think Tevin Coleman is a guy. I don't think he's the guy. Like, he's never been the guy, but may, maybe in Philly, if he's the future back, he can be the guy. We'll see what happens. You know, he he kind of had his chance, but he didn't really, um, you know, do what people expected him to do once uh, Freeman got hurt. They thought Coleman was going to, you know, He's going to be the show, you know. But anyway, uh, you just saw the clip that said from Mike Garofalo on the NFL Network saying basically, <clears throat> yeah, the Eagles are interested in Le'Veon Bell, but the price is going to have to be right. The price is going to have to come down. That's basically pretty much what I thought. Like, Le'Veon Bell is going to have to take uh, less money, basically, to come here. A uh, little bit less money than he will, than he can just straight up cash out with the New York Jets, you know, which I think is probably gonna happen. Uh, you can get Coleman for half of, the, of what you can get Bell for. Um, Coleman is still a really good runner; he can still catch the ball. He still could do th some good things with the Eagles' offense. Uh, I really do believe that, but um, obviously. The price has to be right for Le'Veon Bell. That's the most important thing. And I bet it's going to be like that for a lot of teams, not just the Eagles, uh, the Ravens, and other teams that are interested in him. Um, you know, Le'Veon, what might happen is Le'Veon might not, might find out that, hey, these teams ain't, ain't going to pay me 50 million guaranteed. So let me try to find the best deal I can get. And. If at all possible, do it on a winning team. Maybe he does that, but um, he doesn't really strike me as a guy that would, you know, take less for that. I think he, what he really, really, really wants is to be the highest paid back. So, you know, it would take a lot for the Eagles to want to do that. Do I think... Do you think it would... I would do I think it would be so bad if we paid Le'Veon... A lot of money. Honestly, I don't. Because Howie Roseman. Howie Roseman, you know, I'm convinced this guy can... We can be negative $100 million in cap space. And then, like, you give him, like, two or three weeks. And then, bam, you got, like, 20-something million dollars to uh, work with. Basically, that's what happened. We were, like, minus 12 or something to start, like, not long ago. Made a few moves. $27 million over the cap or under the cap, whichever one, um, $27 million to spend. So he did that. Maybe he would, maybe it would be fine if we signed Le'Veon Bill. I don't, I don't think it's going to happen though, because I don't think, I don't think we're ready to like, just give him all the money that we have. I think, I think what the Eagles want to do is, like, distribute it to different positions. You know, we could use a linebacker. We could use a deep third wide receiver. We could use a running back. We could pretty much pay for all three, C.J. Mosley, John Brown, and uh, Tevin Coleman. 
can still have some money left over. I don't know, sign something, maybe something else. Maybe sign a uh, defensive tackle. I heard Ndamukong Sue was on our radar. Radar. Did I really just say radar on my video? Anyway, guys, um, that's pretty much my, my thoughts about the whole Le'Veon Bell uh, situation. Uh, it would be awesome to have Le'Veon Bell here. I would love to buy Le'Veon. Uh, I would love to buy a Le'Veon Bell jersey and wear it around. But I think it's a. I think it's possible. But I also think it's an extreme long shot. Also, uh, shout out to my boy, Ratting Philly fan. Um, great dude. Unfortunately, uh, somebody decided to be lame, uh, for lack of a better word. And uh, they reported him. Uh, they reported him, and his channel has been terminated again. Uh, basically, people just have no lives these days. Anyway, I'm gonna leave the the um, I'm gonna leave the link to his channel, his new channel, in the uh, description, and you guys can go check it out and uh, sub him up, and uh, you know, kind of get him back to where he was. This is not the first time this happened to him, but I really respect about him is. He is who he is. Uh, he doesn't care what people think. And he's. this has not been the first time he's been uh, taken off of YouTube. But he does not let uh, these things stop him. So uh, let me know what you guys think about the whole Le'Veon Bell situation. What do you guys think about the Eagles cap situation? Do you guys think we will sign Le'Veon Bell? Do you, think, do you think we'll go after him? Do you think we won't go after him? Who do you see us signing? with all that money with that being said go eagles go flyers sixers phillies and owls don't forget about the owls baby uh anyway guys this is your host with the most signing off let me know what you think in the comment section below i'm out